We are at the Al Arish International Airport in Egypt where Qatar just dispatched five flights carrying 142 tons of essential humanitarian aid for Gaza. Qatar has so far sent 21 aid flights to Al Arish where all foreign aid is being collected before it crosses over to Gaza through the shared Rafah crossing. The aid comes amid the Israeli genocide where the occupying entity has killed more than 20,000 Palestinians, including more than 8,000 children. And that's according to several recent reports, including one by Euromed Human Rights, while causing a dire humanitarian situation under a complete air land and sea embargo. For nearly 50 days, Israel has cut off Gaza's 2.3 million population from vital resources including water, food and fuel, leaving the population with barely anything to survive. The arrival of the aid today comes on the third day of a Qatar mediated truce that came into effect on Friday morning and saw the release of Israeli and foreign captives from Hamas in Gaza in exchange for 150 Palestinian women and children from Israeli prisons. A crucial part of the deal also entailed the entry of eagerly needed fuel into Gaza. The truce has so far provided Palestinians with moments of silence without Israeli planes hovering above their heads and without the sound of bombardment. Now, time is ticking before the truce expires amid mounting calls for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Palestinians in Gaza for now are questioning when will their suffering come to an end. Asmahan Karjouli, Doha News, Egypt.